Chad. No videos today. I didn't post any. But I can post some after the live. Hello, Kathy. She's busy eating, playing, rolling over. She stayed out of trouble today. They all did. Which, that's a good sign. I'm hoping to get her bed made tomorrow. It's like everybody is late today. Or busy, I should say. Fluffing up the wreath because they come flat. Where are you watching from, Kathy? <laughs> How many more days, Avery? Somebody came to look at her brother today. She already has one for me. We had to go back and talk about it. her little brother they're flying in on Saturday night and they're gonna take him back on Sunday so I'm waiting for the regulars to pop on because they're gonna want to know where she's going Pop on, let us know where you're from. We're fluffing up the wreath. Getting it ready. Then we have a few announcements. Lillian. Welcome. We're just fluffing up the wreath. Yeah, we're having a wet Monday. How about you? It has been pouring here. Anybody else have rain today? Okay, we got a wreath fluffed up. This is our sign. You guys see that okay? I've got vinyl on the back glued down so it shows through. This is a wreath kit. I do have six of them available. You would have to paint the sign yourself. It comes like this. I would include <laughs> Hi, Sherry. I would include the vinyl in the eyes for you to do it up. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to put some mesh on here. It's 10-inch mesh cut at 18 inches. I'm going to do a ruffle. And we're going to go around and put about nine pieces on here because I want some of the black to show through, but I don't want it all to show through. Okay. I didn't forget you, Avery. We're just waiting for a few more people to, to step on. We 
have an announcement to make. And I'm waiting for a few more regulars to pop on. Chad and Avery and probably Lisa are watching and they have a special announcement. This mesh is 10 inches and I cut it 10 inch wide and I cut it at 18 inches. And we're doing about nine ruffles around the wreath. This is a wreath kit. I have six of them available. Hi Connie, welcome. What's the weather like where you are, Connie? It's been pouring all day here. Got a black um, pine wreath here, and we're adding about nine ruffles. 10 inches, cut it six, uh, 18 inches around. Pennsylvania. Okay, Lisa's still at work. Oh, not home yet. Y'all need to congratulate Chad, his daughter Avery, and her mom Lisa. They are going to be um, bringing Little Miracle home to live with them. So Miracle has a new home. She's going to be living with Taffy. Taffy is one of my other puppies be in Sealands Grove so they won't be too far away. So you all can... Sherry, did you hear that? Sherry's on here. She owns a couple of mine. Well, one. Right? One. I guess it count. I'm going to move this down a little. See? I don't know where LaVon is, or Sue. They would be excited for you, Avery. They brought little Taffy by on Sunday, and Taffy is going to have to get used to Miracle, but they're going to become the best of friends. But isn't that great news? I know, right, Sue? Now Sue can come down. <laughs> she's been, <laughs> she's afraid to come down because she wanted Miracle too. Everybody did. Maybe not one. May have found somebody for him already. Oh yeah, you have one for me. You're right. I want to move this down again. I'm trying to fit nine on here. And one of my other puppy parents came today because I had to groom Miko. And now they're considering Mr. Gray. You wanted more than one, though. <laughs> Sue has two from me. She has Precious and Bunner. And Avery, they have little Taffy. And 
Taffy is one of Penny's puppies, Penny and Riley. And she is only, Taffy is only about four pounds. So, so she's little, but she's, hey, there's Levine. I know. Well, they're they're talking about it. So, hopefully, Miss Levine, Miracle's new family is on here. She's got a new home. They have a puppy from me already, so she's going to join Chad and Lisa and Avery and little Taffy. <laughs> she's still little no matter how you look at it but isn't that great news I'm still going to get a chance to see her and maybe occasionally groom her when their groomer goes on vacation Not really. They're they're ready for it. They can handle it. So we got one more to go and his family came to see him today. So maybe he's Mr. Gray has a new home too. Little quiet Mr. Gray. So after I'm done I have to go up and do a little live. So everybody can see the puppies right now she's up there carrying on somebody must have her ear I'll have to post a picture of her I I went ahead and I uh, taped her ears last night before she went to bed boy did she look funny and then of course this morning they were chewing at it trying to get all the tape off so I ended up having to pull the tape off Ah. All right, so we've got a black wreath. We did nine ruffles. They're 10 inch wide, cut at 18 inches. All right, this is a sign that I painted today and put some vinyl on the back, the green and the white. That's also gonna go on here. But what I'm going to do now and this is available in wreath kit. I've got six of them, okay? And the wreath kit does not include lights. So I'm going to string these around because I think I want to do this before I put the ribbon on. It's easier to do it then. Some of these twinkle, some of them don't. So, I kind of want to get an idea of my spacing here. And there is like two um, things of wire here going around the wreath. So, it should be pretty easy to put them down in there. Attach them to one of the ties. I say tie, but I mean like the pine because the pine has wire in it. So... I just want to like backlight it. These are little stars, pointy little suckers. And I think this was a 20 light kit from Big Lots. But I thought it would be nice that you could turn this on at night just to light it a little bit light it up and you're going to put between like two and three lights in each section because there's a crossbar so 
And like I said, you can use the, the fern or the pine to uh, tie it in place. How convenient, right? Yeah. But I thought it would look really, really nice. Get this in here. And like I said, there are a few on here that blink. I think it's like every five, there's one that blinks. Not trying to go spooky, just trying to go simple. Let me see how it's looking so far. Isn't that pretty so far? And then I'll be able to mount the battery box to the back. And like I said, there are six wreath kits, but they will not come with the lights. You've got to get the lights yourself. And you just use the, the pine. Yeah, I guess you call it pine. to tie it in place so no extra pipe cleaners or anything like that are needed. Oh, Lisa's home. Everybody said congratulations. They're so happy for you. I know a lot of people are breathing a sigh of relief because now they can come and visit and they don't have to worry about <laughs> I know, right? I told him, I said, I'll announce it tomorrow on my live. I said, LaVon is going to miss her. Everybody's going to miss her. So now what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to share pictures now and then with us. Or if she comes to visit, which sometimes they do, when they come for dog food or if they don't have a groomer that week or whatever. Okay, so we got our lights in, and I think I'm going to tie this down right up here, and maybe this would be best staying up here on the top, so you can just reach over and turn it on or off. Maybe we'll just leave it on the side. All right, so we got our lights on there. Now we're going to do our ribbons, and I'm not sure if you saw my post. First, I'll put a few ribbons in. That's what I'll do, because I made my own picks for this, and it's something I added to the last wreath when I was done with my live, and I'm not sure if anybody's ever... <laughs> I know, he would kill you. Came to get a zipper and get a zipper on a coat and left with a puppy. That's when I used to do alterations. Right? Okay. We're going to put our ribbons in, our ribbon tails. So we've got green and white, and then we've got bats and pumpkins. And then we've got our orange with black dots and haunted houses. We're gonna fold them in half. I cut my um, ribbon tails at 13 inches. Oh, great. Taffy, can you hear Mama Robin? Taffy. They remember, they never forget me. 
So I did nine, so I have nine um, bunches here to add on. I think she's gonna do well with the froms. I know my dogs have. And then after this, I'll show you how to make a robin ribbon pick. Anybody else get rain where they're at? Avery, when I put Miracle's t-shirt on her bed, she was all over that bed smelling you guys up. And she slept all night on it. Be great. Sherry is my breeder assistant when somebody goes into labor and I need help. She's right there. <laughs> I'm going to have to get her bed made tomorrow and Miss Miracle and put a picture of her in her bed and make the announcement. And Avery, you're going to have to make sure you keep sending pictures because this little girl has her own little fan club. And they're going to want to see pictures. think we're going to need a bow on this, but you guys can decide. I'm looking because there was nine, which meant two. Well, we may end up putting a bow. I don't want these two next to each other. So we'll just put that aside. I don't know. All right. Now this is what I meant by ribbon. Robin's ribbon picks. The other week when I did the... I left it upstairs. When I did that one wreath, it needed something. So at the end, I went back and I put a three ribbon little pick in there okay now I'm going to show you how to make these this is 30 inches okay we'll do a bow Tracy this is 30 inches all right so you're going to fold it in half okay and then what you're going to do is we're going to make two more Two more loops but we're going to end up with like an inch and a half to almost two inches at the bottom so then we fold it up again and bring our loop down so see you've got three loops in there and you've got a little tail at the end <coughs> now what I did was I took my my glue my glue gun and I glued in here because I want these to stay together at the bottom. And then I'm going to pinch this up. And I'm going to tie this in on top of our, our um, little 
ribbons here. So this will go in the opposite one. So with this one having the orange on top, we're going to put the green in there. And then this one. And see, we use our tail to secure it in place. And because it's glued, they're going to stick together. And we're going to stick that tail down in there. could do them like that if you wanted. I kind of like them together. And again, maybe that needs to go down a little more because I don't want it that big. I don't want it sticking up that much. Thank you, Levon. So I'm going to trim the excess off. The little tail I had at the bottom. And then I'm going to tie them in. It's a Robin Ribbon Pick. I named it after myself. <laughs> what the heck? See? And then I close pinned them when I glued them to hold them together. So I'm going to cut off the tail, pinch it a little bit, put it in. The, the pine and then fluff it out. It's wired so you can you can play with it. Put it where you want. Just something different. Okay. something a little bit ornamental just to give it a different look. I mean, we've all tried ribbons and stuff like that, like just bows, but you know what this reminds me of? Remember that candy that used to look like it? I think it was even called ribbon candy, wasn't it? wanted the, uh, the glue to keep the three together. ribbon candy. That's what this reminds me of. And when I put them in that wreath the, la the other week, I thought I should have done that on my live so everybody could see how it was done. Because it's something I just put together to fill it in. It just gave it a little pop. And if you come back on on my um, site here tomorrow, I'm going to be running a contest. The person that won, oh geez, popped out. Um, the person that won the the bow <laughs> the second time didn't get back to me, so I'm celebrating hitting. 800 likes so you know the number wreath I made the other week that is going to be the giveaway 
and you have to enter this contest by adding your um, your email address. So this way I will have an email address and I can email the winner because when I message the winner of the bow, the second winner still didn't get back to me. So we're going to celebrate reaching 800. You can enter as often as you like. You have to share though. And that's what I'm giving away. And whoever wins, you have to be in the United States. I cannot ship outside of the United States. So don't don't sign up if you're not in the United States because I will not be shipping a wreath out of state. And when you win, you tell me your house numbers and I will make the wreath on a live and ship it to you. So the prize is around $80, the wreath value. So you'll get a custom wreath for your home. And this time I will be able to email the winner pretty bad when you want to give something away and and people win and then they don't they don't get back to you so this way I will be able to contact them Yay, because she has a lot of people on here that were pulling for her, and they're going to miss her. Thank you, Avery. You make sure you get Mom and Dad to do that. Because we don't want anybody from my, my page here contacting me saying, we need another picture. Okay. All right, so there's what it looks like with the Robin Ribbon Pick. And here it is if we turn it on. Can you see it with the lights on? So we added lights to the back. All right, now we're going to add the pumpkin. And we'll leave this space down here for the uh, bow. We'll go ahead and make a bow. So we'll make that the bottom, or should we make that the side? What do you think, bow on the side or bow on the bottom? And this is one that can go on a unique in the creek board. I actually have spacers that help this sit up above. And these little, see I have the cable ties on the back. So it would go right through there and tie right down onto your board and then all your mesh would be underneath it. So it can fit on that board. So any suggestions? Bow on the side or bow on the bottom? What do you think? Actually was going to put leaves on this but I kind of like the little bow sitting on the pumpkin better 
So, nobody has an opinion. Bow on the side, bow on the bottom. I'm actually going to tie this bow with some rope and make another bow on the top out of the rope give it a little bit there you go hashtag miracle I'm gonna to have to share that on my Instagram tomorrow good idea and we're gonna glue that right on there All right, you know what? Since we have the bow at the top of the pumpkin, I'm going to make an executive decision here and put the um, bow down at the bottom. Okay? Since everybody is either doing the dishes or falling asleep. <laughs> right through here see so you really can't even tell this is a black wreath under here you have to send me a picture, Levine. Did you do 30 inches? It just gives it a little snap, a little pizzazz, don't you think? Now that I crushed them all, turning it over. Hey, John, how are you? Long time no see, buddy. Miss ya. Big hugs. That's my cousin, y'all. He's just stopping on to say hi. I know, right? Planned it that way, Yvonne. <laughs> or Lana, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Well, I'm glad you could stop by, John. You're missed. Miss you guys a lot. And think of you often. All right. So we got that on there. Now we're going to do the bow. What do you think so far? How's that look? Thank you, Cecilia. Can you see any of the 
Maybe if I didn't have all the bright lights, you could probably see it. The lights. All right, so let's make our bow. And I think we need to add a little more glitter to the top of the bow. I was looking for more of this. I know I have another roll of that. I also have this too. If I wanted to add some of that in the bow, I thought that would really look nice because it ties in with the, um, the glitter vinyl that's on the back of the Ah, thanks. Or it could just do that in just a simple bow. Let's see what we got. And check this out, okay? This is a, whoop, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> this is to put like your CDs or your DVDs on. It's one of those racks. This is just nice for sitting on the side here, holding my ribbon, so it's not piled up and running all over the place. See, it's got that where I can push them over. Put another one there if I wanted. Isn't that a cool idea? That just helps. Okay, let me find my black ribbon. I know it's around here somewhere. Here it is. going to use, uh-oh, all right, where's my bow maker, not that I need it, but it's nice for holding everything in place, it has to be here somewhere because we used it, we had a class here last week, and we used it in class, probably staring right at me. I mean, if worse comes worse, I'll just use my broken Bodabra. But what? It was right here. Hmm. I guess it walked away. Oh well, we'll just use the broken bedabra because it's going to do the same thing the other one would do. All right, so we have this in our wreath. We have this. We have this. We have this. And I'm going to add a little punch of that. All right, and I'm going to add some of this also. So I'm going to do about a 10 inch tail with about a six inch loop. See, I told you it probably stare me right in the face. And it was, this thing's broken, so that would be okay to use, but won't really be secure now. I know, right? And you know what? There's, like I said, a, a store that sells stuff locally. And I always look for ways to repurpose something. This was in pieces for 79 cents. <laughs> My little ribbon rack. <laughs> My husband glued it back together for me. So how's that? I thought that's just perfect. Because when I have class, there's usually two people here, two people there, two people on the other side. So it's just something nice and narrow to put in the middle of the table where everybody can reach the ribbon that we're using for our project that night. So, yep. All right. So... I'm going to go with the black next. All right. And again, I'm going to do about a 10 inch tail. Now, I'm going to 
gonna play with this a little bit because I want my um, picture to show. It goes in one direction, so I'm trying to get my picture on the ribbon to all go in the same direction. Yep, my little 79 cent re-glued wrap. Not bad, huh? I love to repurpose stuff. Okay, now I'm going to do it this way. So I want the direction all in the same direction. There we go. We got it. Woohoo! forget if you hit this your first time here and you want to be notified go ahead and click on the links in the top of the comments there's a link to my bot hi Bobby now Bobby Avery Lisa and Chad are on and they're going to be the new family where um, Miracle's going to go live I know I already told you now, Bobby has Miracle's sister, well, Miracle's half-sister, Lulu. So, pretty soon, we're going to have everybody on here. Wouldn't that be awesome? Alright, so we're going to go again with 10-inch loop. And again, I want to get the ribbon all going in the right direction so and just a little bit narrower than the other and I'm doing two four two four okay near Salem's Grove. So they promised me pictures. They're going to hashtag them <laughs> so I can share. Yes, because Lulu, I told them Lulu and um, and Miracle were the best of buds. They were the best half sisters. So what we'll have to do is maybe have everybody come up once in a while and have a play date up here. Yes, they did. And I want another one of my puppy parents were in tonight or today for Miko came for grooming and I don't want to jinx it, but she really wants Mr. Gray. And Karen and her husband are flying in Saturday night. And they're coming to get Mr. Tan. They're Shari's friends. So, oh no, I'm going to be an empty nester. No puppies in the robin's nest. What am I going to do? Oh my gosh. I have a day without poop. <laughs> I know, right? And it's funny because this is Bobby's second puppy for me. This is Chad Avery and Lisa's second puppy for me. And that couple, the Kim, if she decides on Mr. Gray, that's going to be her second puppy for me. <laughs> Mr. Tanger God Dog. <laughs> yeah, I will. Kind of.
Linda. <laughs> Wondering if I can incorporate a ribbon, robin ribbon pick in the bow. Oh, I bet you can. I think I'll be able to use this last one in the bow. Wouldn't that be cool? Now I'm going to do this sparkly black. And I'm going to add a two of that. Hi, Ann. Welcome. How you doing? We're almost done, but you can watch the replay. I taught everybody how to make a robin ribbon pick. did this. It was 30 inches. And then we glued the bottom. Except I put way too much glue on it. I shouldn't have put so much glue on it. But hey, I'll know for next time. I just basically wanted to secure it. I'm gonna go with a smaller one. Oh, how you like that? My uh, thing came out. Made the ribbon pick smaller. It was just too big. <laughs> okay, I won't tell anybody. Comes Friday. Woohoo! There's gonna be some busy stuff happening at your house, huh? Thank you, Cecilia. Thank you, Jean. Welcome. Okay, let's put a little wire in the back, or no, let's just use a pipe cleaner, because I got a lot of places I can attach this with this black wreath. Okay, tighten it up. Yeah, it's real pretty now that I got it all smashed. <laughs> fix it. Refluff it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bobby came to my class. We did a, a sign um, last week. And uh, she mainly wanted to see if she liked the cricket. And I'll say she did. It's actually her Christmas present. She's just getting it a little early. Because she's a teacher. And she can really use it in class for making all the all this preparing her class for you know for September or for did you start in August or September now see if I wanted I can take this ribbon but I like it side by side better I don't like it the way I was going to do it I think this needs to be up a little bit there we go. And I'm going to pull this up to the top. 
All right. Let's get this sucker in here. Now with the kit, you get all the ribbon, the mesh, the sign, the vinyl to glue to the back of the sign. You just would not get the light kit. It's not up high enough, it came undone. Now we got it. Okay, let me look at it. Make sure we got everything where it's supposed to be. Our little, oops. That wasn't tied down tight enough, was it? Popped right out. Would have found that in the shake test, which I usually do off camera. And if anything pops off, we just put it back on. Okay, that's set up, that's set up, that's set up. And I like these um, these laser cut. Now by laser cut, if you'll see on the sides, around the side, it's brown. So it's nice. You can just take a nice roller and roll the paint right over top, and you don't have to paint the sides of these. You can just paint it orange, a little tan on the top. And then it would come with the um, vinyl that you would place on the back. Now, I don't know. I may want to still get this in here somewhere. I don't know. I'm going to stare at it a while tomorrow and see what I want to do. It's got a little clip on it. It almost would look good right there. Yeah. I'll play with it a little bit. It's going to end up somewhere in the wreath because it matches the um, vinyl that's on the ghost. Alright, so there are a few lights that have to be secure here. So there we go. And it actually, the box just fits nice right inside the wreath. Let me turn off my, my one light and see if we can illuminate it a little bit without the bright light on it so you can see it. I'll turn off my other light too. Oh, well, I'm going to turn off my glue. There. Can you all see it now? Lit up? Or is it hard to see? Probably can't see it too well. I could stick the stars up a little higher. But I think at night it would show real pretty outside. Thank you. Now again, that's part of a wreath kit. I've got six of them. It'd be 42 with shipping, plus shipping, and then you get all the bows and everything to make it. You just have to paint it. Just no lights. 
maybe what I'll do is take these apart and just stick one. One per like bow thing. Let's see. See what I'm saying? Just one little bow, curly bow out the side of the uh, ribbon tails. See what I mean? Just a little, just a little pop of something different right there. All around. Thank you. All right. I'm going to turn this off and then um, clean up here. And then I'll go up and I'll take a, a live video of the puppies so everybody can see the, see the three remaining. Mr. Gray, Mr. Tan, and Miss Miracle. And maybe by, um, maybe by Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, they will all be in their new homes. Yeah, I think that's, that's, it just, it's too much all at once, but just enough of a little bit of a pop. This one's too short, so I like this length. Just a little white glitter to accentuate my ribbon, Robin ribbon pick. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, these two ribbon tails are mostly hidden, so three, four, five, six. We could get away with the six. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. And if you don't mind spreading the love and watch for the um, the new contest to enter to win uh, the uh, free you can if you want it as a wreath kit I'll make it as a wreath kit if you want it as a full blown wreath I'll make it as a full blown wreath you get to choose the center color and then I'll put your house numbers on it and ship it off to you thank you all right I will be back on shortly with babies, okay? All right, you all have a good night. See you soon. And watch for Wednesday.